and good morning good afternoon good evening everybody we're back we're live we are streaming obviously as expected a little bit quicker than usual i normally do about a 15 minute intro we do about a 10 minute intro uh but anyway we are back of course we're gonna be covering tata still a little bit we're gonna be playing in arena kings with some variety and of course we have some poker a little bit later on as well so anyways you guys um so let's start, let's start with the, the news of the day. We have a bunch of games going on. We've had three very, very boring draws here in Tata Steel this morning. Uh, three of the games were done before I barely even was awake. Uh, we had Wesley So and Anish Giri drawing very quickly. We had Noterbeck and Ding drawing. And of course, we had Richard Rapport and Levon uh, basically not playing a game, just drawing in the Berlin defense uh, really, really quickly. So it's three draws uh, before I even basically woke up. And we have four other games. Now, while I was getting ready, I did notice that... Um, that uh parham and magus were playing a very interesting game it looked like it was pretty pretty equalish somewhat balanced the next thing i know is i'm getting ready to start streaming suddenly parham is losing the game so we'll take a quick look at this game uh as, as it stands right now opening was was kind of weird we got to a position right around here which was the last time that i looked before i went and showered and got ready for the stream and i thought okay white's maybe a touch better probably should be a draw with knight d5 uh, and the next thing I know, somehow Parham is losing. So what happens? So he played knight e3, which is maybe wrong. King f1 to take the bishop probably is enough. He, he's probably worried about rookie four takes, takes, and the weaknesses on, of course, g4 and d4. But I think that after d5 or knight e5, maybe knight e5, knight d4 is good for black. But maybe you can just go d5 here. And I suspect that even though it looks very scary with white having these two rooks in the middle of the board, probably, uh, probably it's okay for white. At any rate, he doesn't do this. Instead, he plays knight e3. We get rook e4. Now the bishop is really, really good. And it seems like Parham just kind of falls apart here. Basically, Magnus gets this pawn. Then he gets he gets the other pawn. And even though white has a very advanced pawn on d6 here, black with the two connected pass pawns should eventually be winning. So very, very, uh, very, very impressive for Magnus. He managed to confuse Parham enough that Parham blundered. And it looks like Magnus is going to win this game. And he's going to be back in the hunt for, uh, for Red October. So we'll see what happens at any rate. But we'll leave it here um, until we get going. Uh... The stream is delayed. What do you mean the stream is delayed? It's not delayed at all, you guys. We're live. What, do you, what, what are y'all talking about? We're live. What, what do you mean? I'll ask my mods, but uh, but we, we are live. We're not delayed. What are you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Anyway, okay, so Magnus looking very good here. Probably going to win this game. Um, We have Jorn versus Vincent, which is still ongoing. Apparently, Jorn is doing very well here. We have uno, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Probably queen d... Uh, queen d2, maybe there's bishop h3. Queen d2, rook d1. Probably not knight c4, but like rook d1 with like queen e2 and queen e3 and queen d2 should be pretty good. Um, what else do we have? Gukesh versus Pragnananta. Uh, what do I count? I see an extra bishop. Very, very weird game. This one I was also watching a little bit, not super closely, but very, very weird game. Why do I count in Spanish? Because you guys, sometimes it's nice to uh, show that you understand a little bit of something rather than just speaking American all the time. Anyway, um, this was the symmetrical English. I saw this, this opening. We got this queen a5, all pretty normal. And this rook g1 move is kind of unnatural, not the, um, not the, uh, not the uh, normal approach. But he does this whole, whole, whole idea of queen e2, f5, not bishop takes f2, of course, because then you take, take, and you have knight f6 check to win the queen on h5. So we get f5, knight f4, queen f7, rook g2, queen 7, e5. And right, right about here, uh, I think I think it was right here. Apparently, F takes E4, Knight G5, Queen F5, and this is completely winning for uh, completely winning for Black apparently because even if you go Queen C4, King H8, these knights don't really have great jumps, and it's just all bad news for uh, bad news for uh, for White. So very very surprising that um, Prague plays Queen E7, and then we get E5, and it seems like from here on Gukesh just took over, has a great position, just up a piece here. And he should go on to win this game. Is this real life? It is real life. So yeah, it looks like Gukesh is going to get a win, a big win, which is kind of sad for um, sad for uh, for Prague on the one hand, because out of all the Indian players, Prague is the player who I feel like has played the best. Um, and it seems like he's probably going to lose this game to Gukesh. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, anyway, uh, it looks like uh, it, it looks like uh, Gukesh is going to get the win. Fabiano and Arjun are still playing. Arjun, another Indian player who struggled, but he has a great bastion here on c5. Guards upon an a6, targets upon an e4. And I think Arjun is a little bit better, but we'll see if he can win. At any rate, for Fabiano, things seem to be going a little bit downhill ever since the game against Magnus. 
uh but we'll see we'll see if we can do something different at any rate uh we will see this is not YouTube you guys I'm not doing recaps right now we're uh we're, we're just sort of doing a, a brief recap of the games they stand we're going to cover them until we play in arena kings uh starting in about 26 minutes so that's what we'll be doing for now uh your name was mentioned this afternoon on talk which is a national station in the United Kingdom they discuss your game with a mittens chess bot yes mittens chess bot is uh, pretty insane you are nowhere near Prague I never claim to be near Prague or if you're talking to someone else so be it but um but at any rate yeah oh uh, what where did the chess boom go what do you mean what do you mean where did it go we, we just booted up you guys <laughs> she's chill so things are just be back for the 12th and your gnarl shredding for the 26th front row ryan as well for the uh two thank you to astra astrax fps for the three champ for the 24 things so much champ little box for the prime duco with the tier one north of for the prime xv4 ll3 with the prime and a2 winham with the tier one thank you so much appreciate you guys so you've been streaming less i'm streaming four days today uh, i've been busy obviously i was on the road in new orleans filming some content maybe it's maybe working working along the lines of a new show potentially something something a little bit bigger perhaps we'll see you never know um i was i was in la this past weekend it's what it is you guys i'm sorry but there are other things going on things are to mr swes for 33 months uh when will i be on the new computer uh, i'll probably set it up on friday the reason i have not set it up you guys is because again my last stream last week was on wednesday i flew out thursday to, to la so i didn't really want to try to set stuff up before my flight i didn't have a lot of time i had to do some recaps and other stuff as well so i didn't want to set it up then i was on the road i got back on monday i got back on monday uh monday evening and if i try to set up on monday evening with this uh, big tuesday stream if i'm like missing a quarter i have to go to best buy or stuff like that it could be very very stressful so i'll probably do it uh i'll probably do it thursday afternoon or friday morning when i have a full full clean day to do stuff so probably by saturday we'll be we'll be on the new comp thank you so much to polarium for the prime thank you so much to polarium i appreciate it so what do we have we had a bunch of moves let me refresh uh what do we have we have we have a de trois. Uh, so it's three pawns versus one. King is king. King is cut off here by the rook. Easy peasy lemon squeezy win for Magnus. So I might just do a recap on stream, you guys. Uh, since I assume Parham is going to resign pretty soon here. Did I mean XQC in LA? No, I did not. I was, I was going to send Felix a message uh, about the podcast. So thank you to Hamanosa for the prime. You know, Magos, Antonio Sloan for the 15, and Liquor and Poker for the tier one. Uh, I'll probably send I'll probably send Felix a Felix a message at some point about uh about doing doing a podcast for the next time in LA, and we'll we'll go from there. So who knows? But I didn't meet him this time. No, okay, just Rook D6, and I mean this is just very basic. Parham's gonna probably resign after Rook D6, I assume. I think Mittens is the most difficult bot to play. Komodo is very strong as well. There are a lot of bots that are very very good. So uh, anyway. All right, so after rook d6, king is still cut. You just go b5, b4. I mean, I don't even know what you're supposed to do. Like, even here, you can probably just jettison the pawn. Even this is just winning. Or actually, wait, no, this is, you gotta be careful. Probably just b2 is easiest. Um, but yeah, this is just over. Uh, the bar is, bar is just, bar is jumping. I don't know why, but I mean, this is very basic. The king's cut, b5, b4, b3. With the extra pawn on the king's side too, just no chances. If there's even two versus one like let's just say you can magically set this up uh sorry not rook h4 let's say even if you get this position e even uh let me let me make it like white's move here like even if you get this position this is still losing for white because the king is cut off and black can push the pawn so the fact that here black has this extra pawn at hx almost is, doesn't matter but it just means that all all roads lead to uh all roads all roads lead to rome Thank you so much to Antitrust Lawyer for the 14 months. Appreciate it. Yes. Any thoughts on Levy? Thank you, guys. Uh, no, I have nothing to say right now. Congrats. You're you're not a real shirt because you're missing your computer specs. You mean I don't have my specs listed? Well, it's different parts, you guys. I, I had it put together by by a company. So um, yeah. But it ha most importantly, it's the 4090. It has the 4090, which for chess is very important. So uh, okay, just King C3. I mean, I guess his idea is to go Rook F5 to stop the pawn, but realistically there's this just isn't isn't working so you can e even frankly you go king c5 and king c6 like again even this is just completely winning with the king being cut off the king can't get over so even this is just very basic so yeah is Ali Reza retired I don't know what Ali Reza is doing uh don't ask me I'm not I'm not in France I mean probably Maxime or somebody like that would have a better idea of what Ali Reza is up to how did you become a YouTuber? Uh, I'm doing more YouTube content than I did before. I'm pro it's probably going to keep doing more and more uh, as we keep moving forward. 
So, all right. Anyway, anyway, uh, bro blunders is queen of 4K. Exactly. Totally. So looking pretty good for Magnus. If he wins this game, let me go to the standings. Let's see the results. Magnus is on five points. If he wins this game, he's going to be one point out of first place with with three rounds to go. He's trying to climb it. He's trying to climb the leaderboard. He's going to be one point out with three to go. So he could still win this event, possibly. Although he's probably going to have to win three because you assume Noterbeck is going to get at least a draw. At least a draw. At least a draw or two draws out of three. So it's going to be exciting. Anish, of course, half point down, I guess, temporarily. So we'll see. Is, is what new or old? I don't know what you guys are asking, but all right. Okay, okay, good. Okay, we're good. King V3 play. Thank you to XW3 for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. For a second, I got scared there. Okay, for a second there, I got scared. I was worried that it was going to, like, die for a second. Uh, but yeah, I assume Rook B5 is played. Now you can just go King A4. You can go B6. Again, all roads lead to Rome. It's incredible how much chess has grown. Uh, chess has grown. My whole, ch whole class plays it, even in class. Well, I will be honest. It, kids who are watching, when you're in school, please stop playing with your phones. Focus on the stuff you're being taught. That is more important than playing games. I don't care whether it's... Like in my day, it was like snakes and ladders. Uh, nowadays, it's I, what is it, gardenscape or chess or stuff like that. But again, when you're in school, you should probably focus. It's it's not good, you guys. That's not that's not good. Thanks so much to chess for the 300 bits. Appreciate. It. Thank you. Uh, my wife and I started playing chess instead of watching TV at night. Uh, there are other things you should be doing at night uh, rather than watching TV or playing chess. Let's let's be honest. All right. In the meantime, uh, okay, so. Let's see. Uh, King A, King A four, Rook F four, King A five. Played probably B five, B four. Okay, just resign. Come on, Parham. Just resign so I can do my recap. Uh, B five, B four, B three is just GG. So anyway, what are you implying? I'm not implying anything, you guys. Okay, so B five played. Rook takes H six, B four, B three is coming in, and again, this is all just a uh, very, very, very basic for Magnus. He will win. So yes, exactly. Removing family-friendly tags from uh from 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 the from the stream, right? Things are just Mark Meech for the 22 months. Appreciate it. So, uh, in the meantime, yeah. So it looks. Why is it? Well, you can't really save the. I mean, you can try to save the pawn, but the problem with trying to save the pawn is that if you lose this f pawn in any case, like you get get this for example, this is still probably winning. But now White does have a pass pawn. Which is the main thing. Whereas, like, if you give up the H pawn, like, the, the thing is, if you try to guard, you're going to lose the F pawn, and then I get a pass pawn. Whereas here, you, you don't get a pass pawn, because this pawn can always be captured on E5. So, you don't mind this pawn B4, B3, of course, will be played, and that's GG. I don't think Black can build a bridge quite yet. Like, you, can, you can't quite build the bridge here. But again, this, this, of course, should be pretty basic. I don't think... Can you build a bridge here? Maybe you can build a bridge, because I guess you can go... Yeah, you can go this way and this way, and you win the game by one tempo. But again, we'll, we'll, we'll see. B4 played instantly by Magnus. He's not wasting any time here. And I th the only idea for White is to go for some E5. But like I said, B2 just wins. Rook B6. I mean, for probably just about any move wins. Uh, actually, no. Pawn takes, the Rook gets back. So you can't take. But Rook E6 is probably the only way to draw. But if you go B2 or Rook B6, it's all over. So I do think Magnus will win this game pretty soon. So, yeah, for those of you guys who are wondering about me, my schedule, I don't know what I'm playing yet. Uh, at, at the moment, I'm not 100% sure uh, in terms of tournaments for this year, in terms of classical chess. But I will say one thing that is very different, and I have to say this is just the realities of COVID, is that when COVID happened, I stopped traveling like 200, 200 plus days a year. I stayed at home. So ever since, ever since then, I don't like traveling as much. And I actually have noticed that when I travel, I seem to get sick a lot easier than I used to in the past. So uh, because of that, I, I, I'm much more mindful of like the tournaments that I'm playing and all, all my schedules and everything else. Uh, so you do have to keep that in mind. I've gotten sick a lot more easily than I ever used to before COVID. Before COVID, I could just like travel. I, I, was, like, I was like an Iron Man. But now I get, I get sick. Like the last couple of times that I've traveled, I've gotten sick. Like I went to Kazakhstan, I got sick. I'm basically fine. I'm probably like 98% fine. Uh, but like Kazakhstan, I went there and the last day I left, I got sick. I, I pretty much was sick until this past weekend. So I was sick for three weeks until I finally recovered uh, when, I, when I was in California. So just just like in general, I have to be much more mindful of that. That's just the, that's just the reality. I'm not pushing for you guys. I'm 28 years old and nobody can tell me differently. So uh, 
Anyway, thank you, CC, for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so Black's going to go B3, B2 here um, and win the game. And uh, Parham should resign, hopefully. Thank you so much to XW43 for the, uh, the Prime as well. Appreciate it. Just subscribe. Can Parham, uh, can Parham resign or not is the question. Did I catch anything in Toronto? Toronto? No, I felt fine in Toronto. I felt fine. So, yeah. Well, of course, traveling will give you exposure to unfamiliar bacteria, of course. Uh, but anyway, as, as I was saying, I just feel like I've gotten sick a lot, lot more frequently than I ever used to. And so uh, I'm just being very mindful of that when I like think about tournaments that I play. Like, I'm not just going to go play like tournament after tournament after tournament in a row. Uh, Parham has not resigned, but he should resign. It's time to resign so I can do a recap, but we'll see. So our teacher is actually grateful that we play chess in class instead of other games. Aha, fair enough. Yeah, it's time to resign, Parham. I guess I'll see. Is, is Parham actually sitting there thinking, or is he about to resign? But we'll see. How did TT go? I won title Tuesday. I am going to be playing Norway chess. Yes, Norway chess I will be playing in uh, regardless. So, yeah. It seems like all the vaccine isolation hasn't helped your immune system. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, but Norway Chess is in May, so I will be playing that. Uh, I probably will play Isle of Man, and maybe I'll play in the Qatar Masters. I'm not sure yet, but that's likely my schedule uh, for this year in terms of classical chess. But we will see. Parham is molding. I mean, I I I, I literally looked like somewhere around. I, I was I somewhere around here. I was like, I looked at this position. And I thought, okay, like it's probably going to be a draw. It's about a. It, it looks like white's maybe a touch worse, but touch better, touch worse, either way. But it doesn't seem like there should be much going on. So I went, took a shower, got my, got my coffee. I was getting ready. And the next thing I know, like, I, I, I put my waiting screen on, and I put my waiting screen on, and I saw this position. I'm like, what the heck just happened? How did it go from what should have been a very bland draw into something like this? Doesn't sound like you. You guys, I've, I've been very vocal on my general takes of things. There is, I mean, not literally, but there's only one place I really will never go. Uh, everywhere else, like, uh, it's, you know, I'll make decisions and go from there. There's only one place that I will never go. And we know what that country is. So, uh, all right, so we get E4, so B3 will be played. B3 and then B2. To Alabama, good one. No, no, I mean, there, there's only one place that I will never go, and it's, uh, it's Saudi Arabia, of course. So, okay, B3, B3 will be played here very, very soon. B3 and B2. Why, of course? Well, without being political, you guys, uh, I guess that is political, but I mean, to be blunt, you, you have to realize I was a kid. I, I grew up in New York uh, when something happened. Like... Let's 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 just let's just uh yeah not go there. So, all right. Um, so if e five probably just rookie six here, and I don't know what else Parham can do here except resign very soon. Okay, he's gonna go rookie. Yeah, you go rookie six, rook f six takes king b three, king b not b three. Sorry, king b three. King's in front of the pawn. This is just a very basic end game, and that'll be it. Bad take? Hey, you, you can say it's a bad take. But hey, it's a, it's a free world. I'm allowed to have my opinion and make my own decisions. Thank you so much to Ruins Lover for the 13 and Gan Gan. OW for the Prime. Appreciate it. Why isn't he resigned? Uh, Parham will resign very, very soon. Uh, the Yankees lost. That was what? That was 2001? Yeah, I remember that very well, actually, because that, that's when the season was postponed, right? The Yankees lost that year. They lost... Uh, that's when uh, Jeter and Tino hit the two-run homers to tie the game in the ninth off the Korean closer against the Diamondbacks, but the Yankees lost Game 7. Yeah, they lost Game 7. Yeah, I, no, I remember that because my, my stepfather, who's uh, generally a very good person, he was very mean in that I remember this very well. So... Nor normally, there's a tournament called the World Youth Chess Festival. It's held in October. It's generally October. It's like there's an under 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And it was held in Oropesa. It was about an hour away from Barcelona in Spain. And um, we had a, a very small TV in our room. 
But very, very conveniently, my stepfather did not tell me that the games were actually shown on TV. Now, mind you, of course, it, it was good to focus on the tournament because the games were the, the games were going at like 3 a.m. local or whatever time it was. But he didn't tell me that the games were actually on the little TV. So he would actually watch the games at like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. But I, meanwhile, I'm asleep because I'm playing the tournament. I had no idea. And I was very, I was very annoyed when I, when I found out that like he intentionally didn't tell me the, 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 that those games were on TV. Thank you so much to sideline for the two months. Appreciate it. So, yeah, focus, focus on the chess. Come on, baseball is much more important than chess, especially with the Yankees in the 90s and early 2000s. But anyway, yeah, so, so it was great because, and also back then, you guys, because so many of you guys don't realize this, the internet was very basic. Like, in order to actually, like, follow stuff you had to go uh you had to go to like the internet cafe and like get on get on like the one or two computers uh and that's how you would you would find out about it and that was way back in the old days way back in the old days and there was e there's an even better story i can tell you guys which is i think it was in 19 i don't remember which year it was. it was like 1996 or 97 whatever the year or maybe it was 98 but there, there, there was a year that the new york knicks were playing the uh playing the um indiana pacers and there was the uh this is basketball of course in the playoffs and there was the four-point play where larry johnson like he got fouled he hit the three and he hit the free throw and um and basically like i was in japan with my mom and my brother at that time and we were on a phone call with my stepdad and he, he tells me he tells me about about the game like he told me about the game and that's how i found it. it's like Wait, what are you saying happened? They're, like they got four points on an, on an individual play. Like, what are you talking about? So, um, I don't remember what year that was, but yeah, there was a four point play when it was Ant Antonio Davis got the foul. Uh, we don't need to talk about Reggie Miller, you guys. Uh, that's that's for another day. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> all right. So back to the chess. Has Parham resigned, or has Parham not resigned? Uh, if Magnus and you play the World Championship match in Saudi, will you not go? No, you guys. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll be very blunt. There was, a, there was a World Rapid and Blitz Championship, which was held in Saudi Arabia, I believe, in 2017. Uh, let, let me pull it up. Uh, World Rapid and Blitz, Saudi Arabia. I think it was 2017. I'll just pull it up for you guys. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, there was a, the World Rapid and Blitz Championship was held in 2017 in Saudi Arabia. And first prize in each individual event uh, I believe was five hundred thousand dollars. It was two fifty or five hundred, but I think it was five hundred. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let me let me pull it up. Let me pull it up if I can find an actual article. Uh, but I, I think first prize was uh, maybe, it wasn't five hundred. Sorry, it was, I think it was two fifty. But first prize in the rapid and blitz section each was two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and that was probably more money than I would than I would have than I was making per year, or probably close to it. That I was making per year to, to as a as a pro chess player. So when you guys think that it's like some silly thing, it's not some silly thing. Uh, I think Vichy won. I think Vichy won something too that year, if I'm not mistaken. I think Vichy won the won the Blitz maybe or the Rapid. Vichy won something I think that year, but I could be wrong. Thanks so much, Dishlange for the Prime. Appreciate it. Didn't Magus win it last year? Yes, but Magus won it last year, and the grand prize was a whopping. Uh, what was it? It was like sixty thousand dollars. Like. Like, I'm just telling you guys, it was $60,000 when Magnus won. When Magnus just won, it was 60 k And when they held it in Saudi Arabia, it was 250 k So it was, uh, it was a lot of money. A lot, lot of money. Uh, Rook takes e5, king d3, king b3 played here. I think you can go king d2, but again, it's the same. Like, even, even rook c5 here, your king's still cut off this. I mean, everything wins here. Anything wins. That's the bottom line. So at any rate, you guys, back to the chess. Uh, takes and rook c5 will probably be played uh, and go from there. Thank you so much to Shiva Hayes for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, to Magnus take. We get rook c5. Hopefully Parham resigns. If Parham resigns, you guys are probably going to do a recap for YouTube very quickly. And then we'll jump into Arena Kings about like 5, 10 minutes late. But we'll see. We'll see. Who do I think will win the tournament? I think Noterbeck. I, I mean, let me take a look at the let me take a look at who Anish has to play. Who Anish plays determines a lot. 
Anish has to play... Oh, Anish and Noderbeck have to play each other. Big game. Uh, Anish has to play number seven. He has to play Richie, and he has to play Jordan Van Forest. Noderbeck has to play Jordan, Wesley, and Anish. I... I'm very hard-pressed to pick someone who I think is going to win here. If, I, if, if you were to ask me... Let me see. Magnus has to play... Th Magnus has to play Wes Wesley. Uh, Wesley, Prague, and... Arjun, I don't think Magus is going to win the tournament. I don't think Magus is going to win three three games here. I don't think he's going to win the final three. Uh, so if I had to make a prediction, I'm going to probably predict that Noderbeck wins. I like his, I mean, his pairings aren't great. He has to play Anish and Wesley, but Anish has to play Noderbeck and he has to play Jordan, his countryman, and he has to play Richie. Very hard to judge, but I, I think Noderbeck is likely going to win just looking at the pairings. Obviously, he's also leading, which helps quite a bit. But I, I would predict that Noderbeck is going to win the event. That's, that's my prediction based on the pairings. If Magnus wins every game, then yeah, what can I say? Yeah. Oh, Noderbeck has black versus Anish and so? Ooh. Interesting. That makes it more interesting. I mean, Anish could win, obviously. It's, it's definitely possible. Think of that guy who's a bot. But I, I think one of the two for sure will win. I don't think Wesley's going to light it up in the last three rounds. I don't really... I mean, Magnus could win three games, but I, I don't see it. My, I, I think I mean, I mean think Noderbeck is going to win. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. Just look at... Just, just, just to feel the event, what's left. But I could be wrong, obviously. Anisha suddenly started winning. I thought he drew. That was just a... I mean, Anish, Anish's problem is that generally he's too risk adverse. So he generally he has great positions and he tries too hard to like just not take any risk. Uh, and that's his biggest issue. But that doesn't mean that he's trying to draw every game. But we'll see. Come on, Parham. Time to. Is Parham really not going to resign here? He's going to shut Blasky for the prime. They have the prime for the three months. Appreciate it. I mean, you just go King A3, B3. This is actually a little bit, little bit disrespectful by Parham, in my opinion, to not just resign here. Because King A3, King B2, and B, B3 is just very, uh, very, very basic. Do the recap anyway and say he resigned, of course, obviously. Yeah, this is not... Uh, this is not uh, difficult. Thank you so much to Florian for the prime. Yeah, I just, I mean, this is just, uh, you're just completely lost. This is not rocket science. Cygram just subscribed. There's King B2, B3, very, very basic. All right, you guys, so we are going to get ready for Arena King. So let me change my scene, of course, and away we go. Uh, there we go. So we're going to start with Arena Kings in about three minutes. Did Parham resign? I mean, just King B1, B2, very basic. What do you think of Emil's Fide tweets trying to take credit for the chest boom? It's one of the silliest, it's, it's one, what, like, it's, it's just the latest in a long line of absolutely inane and insane uh, takes by Emil that I... I mean, in 2020, it was like, it was kind of funny to hear that, to see some of those out of touch takes. But in 2023, like three years later to see it, it's just like, I, I, it's just bizarre. It's actually just bizarre. It, it's just truly bizarre. He got you talking about him. I think that was the goal. No, I don't think that was the goal. Thanks so much to Enrico Luciani for the 12 and Seagram for the tier one. Enrico Luciani. No, I, I think the goal had nothing to do with getting me to talk about it. I think it had more to do with the fact that, uh, that basically it's like trying to make it sound like Fide is relevant or Fide is doing great things. It's trying to like make it sound like Fide is doing things when the reality is, is that like the boom has, I mean, nothing to do with Fide whatsoever. So yeah, it's, it's beyond bizarre. Okay. So we're going to be starting with Arena Kings. Uh, let me close the window and away we go. Things let me shot Mead X for the prime. So here we go. Oh, Daniel's playing. Wait, Daniel's playing? Or is Daniel not commentating today? Interesting. Daniel streaming in Russian? Wow. Wild. Okay. 
Oh, Hess is commentating. Aha. Uh -huh. Would I ever want to be CEO if I was if I was offered the future down the line? No. I said before you guys uh, that that I have no interest in ever doing anything with FIDE. That's just reality. I'd ra I'd run for president before president of the U.S. before I would want to be president of FIDE. So I think that says it all in terms of my 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 interest level. My interest level of uh of wanting to be be in charge of FIDE. You can tell it's like really really low, <laughs> really low. I think it's such a zero caliber for the prime. Yeah, like, I, I mean, it says it all. Like, my, my interest level is, uh, yeah, it couldn't be any lower. Database is overloaded again? No, it's not. We're good. But yeah, at the end of the day, as far as FIDE goes, I mean, my, my general take is that FIDE, they are, um, they are out of touch with reality of, like, what works and what really generates the income, what generates the sponsorships at this point in time. And they're not willing to adapt. They're so stuck in their ways of wanting chess to be like it was in the old days. Uh, and that's not going to change. And, and, I mean, because the only people who really have that insight are all people who are very successful at this point. Like chess.com, for example. There are plenty of people at chess.com, I think, who, uh, who know, um, who have great ideas, who could probably do a lot. But at the end of the day, uh, are they, like, really, really interested in it? I don't think so. I mean, I know I wouldn't be. I can go C4 here. I can play D5. I'm just going to go... I don't even know what... I'm actually playing this pretty poorly. I'm going to go A4, maybe Knight A3. I guess I'll take. Let's see. Takes with a pawn, which is interesting. It's not the move I thought was right. I'm going to go here, maybe Knight B5. This is actually a very interesting position. I don't normally get these, like, really interesting games with Dan. I normally play these very boring E4, E5 lines. So I'm kind of curious. I could play e4 here, maybe. But that looks wrong. Yeah, I should actually kind of make some moves. This is 3-0, right? Yeah, this is 3-0, not 3-1. What am I doing? I'm actually getting a little bit too interested in this game, the way I'm playing this. Like, I'll go here. Yeah, I'm getting way too interested in this game. I don't know why. I mean, I guess he goes 95. We trade. Let's go B4. Attack the pony. Bishop C4 next move. Fairly balanced, actually. I, th I think he, he, made, he made a slight inaccuracy there. I think he was actually better if he played... Uh... I mean, I assume Bishop C4 must be right. Obviously, take, take, take. Probably just a draw. It's a question of how aggressive I want to be here. Don't want to take. Okay, but again, like this is this is three zero. This is not three like three one. Yeah, why am I thinking? Okay, whatever. Let's just trade. This probably is just going to be a draw, but who cares? Farham just resigned. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what he does here. Of course, this is obviously just a draw, a perfect play. But his king's a little bit weak. Uh, he, he has some weaknesses because of pawn structure. Like, not to say this... I mean, I'm up a pawn. I have rook b1. Daniel might have made a mistake here, actually. This is not trivial. Yeah, this is not trivial, actually, for Daniel to play. I have rook b1... Uh, I guess. Guess I go here. I think G four is correct. Hard to judge what's going on here, but I, I have to be better, I assume. I mean, okay, go here. I'm running the king up. This should be winning for me, I think. And Daniel's very, very low on time as well. Now I go here to undermine the... Uh, go here, and now I take or take. I mean, this, this, this is just winning. 
Oh, it's just cake. Yeah, that's just easy. Yep, there we go. Good, clean first game. Think it was six man for the 12 and Tuffy for the three. Yeah, we got the win. Biggie, biggie in the first game. Yeah, it's a big win. Good stuff. Daniel messed this up is what he's doing. Okay, we get a 2655. Obviously, want to win this game fast. Okay, he plays H4. No rematch, you guys, because it's Arena Kings. There's no rematching in Arena Kings. You play till you drop. That's how Arena Kings works. I can play D5 here. I'm going to play D5. I can take and take. Uh, take. Uh, I guess I'll go beef. Uh. Yay! Gustav underscore Chabala. Not the greatest move I've ever played. Probably okay though. Have e five. It should be seven. F five. A little bit ugly. Little, little, little bit ugly. Go F six. So here I've got 95 in castle it's not the dream that's for sure but my pawn here actually stops any good night jump so I'm probably okay just castle thanks so much to Gustav Chalabakala for the two months thanks so much to Gustav I have like rook d7 rook d8 I should be okay here I got disconnected Ikar win yes he did win or yes sorry I did win I mean Daniel resigned because he was, he was just lost at that point but anyway uh yeah Go here. I'm starting to like I'm starting to outskill my opponent a little bit here. A little bit. Yeah, there, there are some problems here for white to deal with. Definitely some issues. It was rookie one. Okay, now I put the knife knife on C4. Oh, I missed Bishop E7. Crud. Oh shoot, I missed that. Ack. I still have a pawn to run, but I should have played knight d6 too. How do I win this is the question. Yeah, this is an actual issue. How do I win this? I'm going to try to run this a pawn up the board if I can. How do I do this? Uh, I'm gonna go here. Oh, that's just a terrible move. What the heck? I missed knight. I mean, he had knight, knight there, but okay. I also put my queen on the wrong square, I think. Of course I run the king out. I mean, this is very dank. If I have bishop f3? If I have knight e3, I feel like I should have some tricks here. Oh, I have queen f2. That's what I have. How do I not have any tricks here? What the heck? What the heck? How do I not have any moves? There should be a tactic here, but I don't see it. I'm gonna go here. I have to do this. This isn't what I wanted to do, but it's still okay. Check. I'm 
Ugh. Yeah, this is so stupid by me. I can try to flag him, but I don't think I can. Yeah, that's just a draw. Terrible. Thank you so much to Sausage Fondue for the Prime. That was horrible. I just hung a couple of pieces, though, but that's what it is. Yeah. Mind you, I was losing at one point. But I did win the first game against Dania, so I can't really complain that much about it. Only problem is that burned a lot of time. That was the, That's actually the problem. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, the King of Pawn endgame is always a draw. That's that's why I, I mean that's why I took the risk, but uh let's go here. It's already very suspicious by me again. Very suspicious. What's wrong with my music? You don't like my music? Uh she, no, don't don't use that word. I, I don't think so. Like the game didn't look like that to me. Goes for it, interesting. I have knight of eight. I also have knight of six. Knight of eight must be right. Now the key here is is how to uh, how to develop. Uh, bishop f six. Wait a second. Okay, I just need to think here. Queen d seven is a move. Queen c seven. That's a move too. D5 is also a move, but... Uh, okay, I'm thinking too long. Uh, I just gotta move. Yay! 94, I just take and go D5. That's... Yeah, that should be okay. I take... $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Go here. Oh, does he have Queen F4 or something? Check here. Check here. Knight F5. I get 96, I'm probably fine. I mean, it looks so scary, but maybe I'm holding. Maybe. I could have also gone just knight d7 and cast the king, so that might have actually been simpler. But it is what it is. Thank you so much to Dry Sniper for the two. Thank you to Philatelli for the prime. Okay, but where's the... I don't see the win here. I have knight f5 or bishop g7. I'm going to go here. I'm going to move the queen. I'm going to go like knight f5 or h5. I go here. I'm holding the squares. I have h5. I have like rook a7 as well. If I play h5 and king h7. I also have queen h4, but I think h5 is right. Dfster 420 just subscribed. Ah, I just wonder knight f7. What the heck? Jeez, what the heck was that? Funny thing is, if he takes, I'm worse, but I can maybe defend this. I'm gonna go like here, knight f7, maybe. Go a5, fix the pawns. My knight is actually really good on f5. It's not a great position for me, but it's also maybe not that bad. I'm go like queen c6. Like, this, is, this isn't great, but it's kind of not the end of the world, weirdly. In some weird way, this is not the end of the world. Okay. I'll go here, maybe. Yeah, somehow I'm actually not doing terribly, which is weird. I'm going to play h4, h3, maybe. Queen f3. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Let's go here to guard. Go here, knight e4, maybe. The queen c7, I have king. I mean, this is getting a little bit iffy for white. He can't go c4. F3 lets me get a knight to g3. This is starting to get a little bit scary for white, I feel like. Uh, I can also go like g5, maybe, to kick the queen. I can also just go knight h5. Actually, knight h5 is right, because I can put the other knight on g3. 
And now I think I put this knight on g3, and then I put this knight on f4. <clears throat> he has a check. I go to h6 or f8. g5 to consolidate the knights. This c4, which is, of course, very logical. I don't know why I allowed this. Go here. Go here. Take. Now I take, and I mean, there are all kinds of disasters. Yeah, I think I'm going to win this game now. Takes. Not block. So I can just take and take, I believe. Let's see, two GGs. There we go. We got the win. Good win. Thank you so much to McCroft. Thank you so much to Feebster. Thank you so much to Free These Nuts for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Another big dub. Playing 2570. Now I need to win and keep it going. This is where I need to get a quick win. This is exact. I have Queen G4, maybe? Whatever. Let's just go Knight F3. I want to go Bishop H7 and go for the classic Greek gift. But he's not letting me. I can play h4. Somehow bishop e4 looks correct. Eh, maybe knight e4 is better. Who knows? Maybe. Let's go here and bishop b2. Go rook e1. I'm going to play knight g3. I could play for this, maybe. Could have played knight d6 too, I guess. Hard to judge which one's right. Okay, I'm gonna go here. That d6 is never an idea anymore. Go here, probably c4. Go c4, probably rook d1. Okay, he hangs a pawn, kind of. I'm gonna just go here and take with the bishop. Like bishop d2. I am up a pawn here if I'm not insane. I'm pretty sure I'm not insane. Maybe I am insane. Play a3 to kick the knight, and then queen d3, and then a4. And it should slowly start to unwind. Now let's go a4, consolidate the pass the protected pawn here. Uh, let's go here, guard this pawn. What are my plans for the future of my chess career? I'm a streamer, so that's a very strange question to ask. Uh, let's go here. Uh, I play M peasant. Obviously just, I can trade, I can also not trade. Let's just go here, trade off the pieces. I'm going to just take and go here, hit the rook, hit the bishop. I have these extra pawns here, so this should just, the pawn should play. I don't know. If this doesn't win, I don't know what does. Play b4, b5. Uh, let's just bring the knight back somehow. I'm going to go for knight b5, maybe. I go here, takes, takes. It's a little bit trick, slippery, actually. I should be winning, but be a little bit careful how I play this. Wait. I have two connected. This must be winning. This has to be winning. Go here, takes, and it just wins. It resigns. Let's keep going. Many channel points are about to be distrib distributed. Oh, was I supposed to win a game? It's what, half hour, right? I need to get to 17 by, uh, by 30 minutes, right? Okay, let's go next game. I think that's what, uh, that's, that's what I need, right? So I need to win three games in... 
You need to win three games in uh in um in the next twelve minutes, which is tough. No, I know who this this I know who Goku is, obviously. He's a sub of the channel, longtime supporter. We'll go here. I'm probably gonna trade everything off. Maybe even A5 takes, takes, takes. Uh, I guess I'll just go D5 here, or trade. Daniel's yeah, streaming in Russian. Yes, I am aware of that, you guys. Knight G3 is a solid move. I'll go knight F6 here. I should be maybe slightly better here. Not clear. Do I think Magnus will try to go down the stream route too? I doubt it. I mean, it's not, it's not easy. You know, I, I think, um, you know, one thing people really don't understand is that consistency is key. I mean, it's, it's really consistency. Like I, I've said it before, actually, I probably haven't, I haven't literally said it, but I think I, I have implied it in the past. Like, you know, when it, when it comes to, uh, how do I do this actually? I'll go here in a second. I've really messed this up. Got Rook D7 or something. Eh. Not playing well at the start here. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, though, there's, there's one thing that's really critical, and I think a lot of people don't, a lot of people underestimate it, which is, like, the consistency of whether it's streaming, making videos, and whatnot. And um, I guess I'll go H6 here. And, like, I can't stress that enough, primarily because, like, at the end of the day, there are many people who are very, very talented who do this stuff, but... But having that consistency, there are only two people who actually are able to produce that content day after day after day, week after week after week, month after month after month, year after year after year. And those two people, of course, are the most successful people. And that would, of course, be myself and that would be Levy. Um, no one else that I've seen is able to as consistently put out like the high quality content um, every single day. That's just the reality. Um, that is just the reality. So C3. Bishop c4, I'll trade, go b3. Decade after decade after decade, century after century after century, yeah. Let's take, yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, I'm not actually flexing myself. I'm just saying it's, it's, a, it's a thing that people don't, I think people don't quite realize just how much it matters. Will it be hard to accept when you're too old to be the best anymore? Oh, I got it. No, it won't because I already have to deal with that, you guys. I have to deal with that already when I play when I play Bullet because, like, I played Bullet at Coffee Chest. I'm going to be honest. When I was playing the 5-1 at Coffee Chest, you guys, I was playing the 5-1. I've got to say, like, I was getting mad at my, I was getting mad at myself because, like, I know there are certain things that I'm doing that I never, the mistakes that I never would have made, like, 5, 10 years ago, for sure. And now I'm making these mistakes, and it's, it's very, very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It's very frustrating. So I already know, I already know how, like, what the name of the game is. Go here and checkmate one. Yeah, like, I, I, I already have to deal with it because of bullet, so I'll never quite get to the goddess stage. Thank you so much to iFox, bro. Thank you so much to Lewis 9 amg for the Prime. Like, you even see it when I, when I play, when I played, when I played bullet on, when I played bullet online, you'll, you'll see it. Like, I get annoyed at myself. I might win a match 7-3, but you'll see that I'm still annoyed. And I'm annoyed because I know that I used to be better. That's why. Oh, uh, let's play. Oh, this is Renato again. Okay. Yeah. Bullet Brawl, I believe, is 1 0. So, yeah, when you, when you guys are asking me, like, you know, it's like, I, I, know, I know the name of the game. Okay, he's going to play G5. Okay, this is the old line you take. Uh, there's Bishop B5, which I think is supposed to be correct, as I recall. This is actually not very good for black. I mean, I've, I've played it quite a bit. Uh, I think I can go B4 here. Is it due to lack of lack of studying or age? It's in bullet. It's about age. It has nothing to do with your ability to study. It's just your your. It's just uh, at the end of the day, uh, that doesn't look right. I guess I'll go here, offer a trade. It's just the the reflexes, everything. You're just you're not as on the ball. Like I, I see it when I play bullet. Like in the split second moments when I have to make like that momentary decision with like the one second on the clock, I almost never make the right. I mean, I make good decisions, but I don't make the right decision. And obviously, if you're just watching, you, you don't real. I mean, you don't you don't you don't realize it's like okay, it still looks like I'm crushing. Everything's wonderful. Like what what are you talking about? You're still great. Uh, but at the end of the day, like it, it is legitimately uh le legitimately a thing. Those small edges do matter a lot more than you would realize. Uh. I'm just going to play a3 here and consolidate. I guess he can go a6 maybe. I'll probably take maybe just back. I'm willing to give him this, uh, give him some pieces here. 
Edges and curves matter a lot. Okay, so I take, go here. I mean, this, this might be bad for me, but I, I, don't, I don't really care, kind of, if, if that makes sense. Uh, actually, maybe it's just bad. Why did I do this? Hmm. Go here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually playing this really badly. I thought that somehow I had some attack, but I, I just have no attack on the king side. Get to 17 quickly. Uh, I'm trying, you guys, but like I have to win this game and get one more. If channel points are the thing that you're worried about in life, uh, I'm, I'm afraid for you, my friends. Of course, I'm playing this game like a total lemon. Just, I'm playing this like a complete lemon. Uh, if I go queen h5 and bishop... I guess I'll do it anyway, because I can take, take, and go bishop c2, and I'm worse, but maybe I can survive. Maybe. Can I actually take and go bishop c4? No, I can't. Whatever, it's still a pawn. What do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. So I have a piece and a pawn for the, for the rook. I think there's only to ask for the two months. Okay, it goes f5, which I also don't particularly love. Uh... I'm going to go h4, maybe h5, uh, bishop g5 somewhere in here. I'm obviously worse. It's just a question of am I much worse or just a little bit worse. Right, but now I think I can go I can go b5. I can also go bishop f4 maybe. I feel like there's gonna, I'm going to get some chance here if I'm smart. Okay, I just, I got to move. What? It's too slow. I can't. Now I allow this. Now I have to go here. This is what I'm saying. Like, my split-second decision is, like, right there. My split-second reaction was bad. It just was bad there. Like, bishop f4. Like, I started thinking my split-second reaction was not the right one. Being so much to zero any for the prime. So, yeah, for me, I've already gotten used to... Uh, I've already gotten used to not being great at bullet. So, I'll never have a situation where I'm deluded about, like, other stuff. Okay, but now I have this. What is this? Jenkins just subscribed. Um, I'm for you, buddy. We'll go here, 93, maybe. Let's go here, 93. I mean, I am worse, but I have 93. I have bishop c7. Uh, I gotta go. Like, why am I so slow? What the heck? I mean, I have b5 and b6 somewhere in here. Gotta go, you gotta go. I gotta move. Why am I so slow? Of course, I have to hang this. <laughs> okay let's go again <laughs> okay i don't get 17 points but I, I don't even care about the 17 to win a game like that is as good as it gets that's as good as it gets i'm not gonna lie 
I could offer a draw, right? Offer a draw and move 20 to save you guys points. Old Kappa. Yeah, exactly. Now you're just like, see, you still won that game. You're not that old. You're, you're so full. You're so full of something, right? That's what, that's what people would be like. They'd be like, they'll be like, oh, look at, you just won this game. You're so, you're so full of chit. Like you, you're, you're just like, oh, you're just making stuff up. You're, you're, you're still great. Uh, but the reality is no, I'm not still great. Uh, I guess I'll go here. I don't know what I'm doing. The take? It's going to be interesting, actually. Let's see. I mean, I can castle. I guess I'll just drop back to cover this D5 jump. I think it's going to show Olivier for the 21, ZD5 for the 5, and Bo Junks for 27. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Maybe I could have taken the pawn, actually. I didn't even think about it. I probably could have, but whatever. So here, probably rook d8. Probably rook e8. Is he really going knight g3? Because I can go h4 too. Oh, he's going c4, which looks a little bit weird to me somehow. It doesn't look quite right. I'll just drop back. Oh, this is Bordnik's brother. I believe they're brothers, right? I think McCola and Alexander are brothers, but I could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure they are, though. I'm going to go C5. I mean, actually, I want to go A5 and Bishop A6. He missed Bishop A6. Doesn't mean it's great, though. I'm still, still kind of a messy position. Do I have D5 here, maybe? I also have Queen G4. I'm going to go c5 here. If he goes d5, I can drop the knight back at bishop e5 as well. I think I'll just go here in knight e5. I mean, this still looks very good for me. Probably is going to go here, but if I get the knight to e5, I should be doing fairly... Whoa. Whoa, that's a little bit bold because I have rook b8, I have rook b2, I have queen g4. This looks questionable at best. Let's go here. I'm going to go rook b3. I'm totally sacking materials here. I don't care. I also have f6 to open up the diags. This looks bad for white. This looks quite bad. Thank you so much, Num Scully, for the four months. Thank you so much, Num Scully. Appreciate it. Thank you. Basically, what I want to do is I want to go one, two, and something with rook b3, rook b2, and maybe f6 to open up the rook two. Who's the best in the world? I think I think on a good day, I'm I think on a good day I'm still the best at bullet, but on a bad day, I'm definitely not the best. I will say that. I think on a good day, I'm still probably the best. Uh, but but again, on a bad day, you don't want to see me playing chess. Obviously, I'm sacking. Uh, obviously, I'm going queen g4. No, I mean I'm and of course I pff, allowed rook g3, which was stupid because Takesy goes here in rook h1. Ah, <sighs> very stupid. Okay, let's go here. Maybe knight b6, knight c4. Try to use my piece. I could have gone f6 too, maybe, but it goes there. How do I do this? I'm going to go here. Maybe knight b6. Yay! Still very, very tricky to play for both sides. But now I reroute the knight. Okay, I guess I'll go here to put pressure on the pawn. Maybe bishop c8 and then queen d7. I guess I'll go here and maybe queen h3. Queen g4, queen h3, both ideas here. Go here. He's still fighting very hard. Do I have queen e5? No, I don't. We'll just go back. Uh, queen e5, knight d3, queen c3, rook f7. I'm going to go for this. Maybe it's bad. Wait, but that's a not a mistake. B two is coming in. Ah, he's. Ah, I can make a draw. Ah, frustrating. Can be two. No, nah, just <sighs> okay. I'll just make the draw, save myself some time. I should have made the draw right away, right? Thanks so much for the loss mark. Then I could have got everyone could have gotten their points. 
Ah. Close, very close. But it's okay. Is it true to say that you become more competitive since you started streaming? Quite the opposite. I, I don't actually have to... I mean, maybe I've become, like, more competitive from the standpoint that, like, I play better chess just because I don't care, but I, I, I don't think... I, I don't think that, like, I have in a general way. Okay, let's go knight, knight f3. Uh, what are we on? We're on 17. I don't know who x were is. Uh, chess bra on 23. Okay, so 23. So no one's actually running away with it yet. What? What the heck was that? Is that just a mouse slip? Maybe not. I don't know what that was. I'll just drop back. I mean, I'm up a pawn here, so how bad can this really be? Oh, he has f6. Uh-huh. I'm still up a pawn, though, so this really shouldn't be a problem. Take, uh, I guess I'll go here. Queen f3 and rookie one. Very basic setup. Go here, probably stack. Uh, I guess I'll go king h1. I don't have to do it, but it makes some sense. And go here. I think g3 is okay. Takes, takes. Should be okay. Okay, goes bishop d8. The key here is that somehow I need to activate my pieces, basically. Okay, I'll go a4, fix the pawns. Kind of weird. Like, I should be much better, but I don't know how. Very, very weird. Like, I, I should be much better here. Maybe I need to put the bishop on f2. Uh, maybe this is how I do it. I need to put the bishop on f2 to hit the pawn on d4. Maybe that's how I do it. Yeah, I think I go here and bishop f2. This must be right. Go here, hit the pawn. I could have played c3 or c4 there. And I should have. But I still should be better here. Uh, okay, now I just lose this. That was pretty careless. Uh... I don't know. Everything wins here. I'm going to go c3, rook g1, I guess, and bishop d1. Oh, great. Did I just blunt? Oh, wait. No, no, wait. He's pinned. Wait, he's pinned. That was almost a huge blunder, but he's pinned, thankfully. So he, he, he can't take. Then I take and loses the game. Scoot the king out of the way. No, no danger here. Should be very, very basic now. Oh, I also had bishop d1, which was winning, but who, who's, who cares? Not me. Uh, I think I can even go king f2, which is kind of funny, but... I think I'm just going to bring the rook into the, into the game. Let's go here, hit the rook. You can obviously take twice, but it does nothing, so I'll go rook e3. Big threat of g4 trapping the queen. This song makes me think of Bill Gates dancing that cringy Microsoft video. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, I just go here. And that's gg. Okay, time to resign. Next game. Here we go. We're up to 19. Uh, I'm not getting good pairings here at the start, but it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's play, let's play Bortnik's opening. Ah, uh, so Borning plays f4 too. Okay, so. I think Borning was playing like bishop b4 or something against me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Borning's own opening against him. Because this is what Borning always plays against me with black. So I want to see what his, his great approach is. Uh, I can obviously take and play c5 maybe. 
Let's play C5. This is, this is always what Bortnik plays. So I'm just curious to see what he what he does as white against uh, his o own opening. I have three interesting move. Uh, wait, go here. Looks a little bit odd. Wait a second, wait a second. This can't be right. Takes, takes. I mean, I have bishop c5, but I also... What am I missing here? I just... Am I not just up multiple pawns? I mean, I can also just castle. I can also just go bishop c5. Uh, oh, he has bishop g5. I didn't even see that that was a move. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. I could sack my queen here for the memes. It's arena kings. Who cares? Who cares? You gotta, you gotta live in life. You gotta have fun. You gotta live. I'm, I'm gonna play a Botez Gambit. Yeah, you, I mean, it's arena kings. You gotta have some fun in life. Life's too short not to have fun. Normally, I would not do this, by the way. I would almost never do this, but... I literally don't care. Uh, question is, do I take the pawn? And my assumption is if I don't take, is he really going b3? He could. So let's just take. I guess let's just castle here. c4 is hanging. Actually, maybe I should have, should have just taken it right away, but whatever. Who cares? I'll go here to hit the queen. Of course, that was a horrible move. He's got knight g5, which I just completely overlooked. Uh, let's just go h6, stop it. There's h4. I guess I'm going to try to reroute my bishop, maybe to like c7 to hit the pawn. This is a weird position. I have bishop b6 maybe. I'm going to go knight f5 at some point. I think I'm going to go... No, I'm not going to go knight a4. Knight f5 is a move. Bishop b6 also is a move. How do I reroute my pieces? Is the question. I'm already thinking too I just got to move. I'm thinking way too long here. Okay, I guess I go... Uh, maybe I can reroute my, my pieces the other direction, maybe. Maybe I can even go for knight a5 here. Go here. I have knight a5 somewhere in here also. B1. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Knight e4. Oh, that's a good move. I missed that. Go here. Probably I'm going to lose this somehow, but we'll see. Probably I should have brought the knight back, but it's like queen g2. There's all kinds of bad stuff happening here, I feel like. Yeah, like he has queen f3, and now I, I can't stop the pawns. Back. Yep, and that's why I should not have sacked my queen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have a good stoppage move here. Uh, guess I'll sack and go. Oh, this this just loses anyway. Yeah, this just loses. Yeah, I shouldn't have sacked the queen. It was a little bit too much. A little bit too much sacking the queen. Norm normally I wouldn't do that. Probably it wasn't right to do that because he's the same points. But whatever. It's early in the event. I should have done it anyway because my rating is actually also high. Okay, I just got to get reset. Uh, let's go here. Life is short but not short. Yeah, I mean it probably was just a little bit too much. I think it was okay for like a moment though. I think for like one moment it was probably okay. But it probably was only okay for like two or three moves and it was just bad. I mean there's probably somewhere I could have gone knight a5 early uh before he gets before he gets rook g1 and g5. I think my precision there, like the tempos was not good. Uh what is this? Let's go here and go after pawn. Good try, yeah. It was a decent try. I wouldn't go as far as to say it was a great try.
I don't like when you sack a wanting card takes all the game seriously. If that's the card I want, then you might want to watch another stream because generally I am pretty chill about it. Bishop d2, I think I just take. He's knight d2, bishop a6, of course, is my idea. I also have bishop f5, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I never would have done that in, in Title Tuesday, for example. Title Tuesday, I never would do that, but uh, that's what it is. What percentage of GMs would you say that you've played over the board? Uh, I mean, current, I don't know what that number is going to be because I, I obviously there are a lot of people I've played around younger who, who don't play anymore. Uh, but I would guess that if there, if there are 2,000 GMs, let's just say, let's use round numbers, say there are 2,000 GMs, I'm going to bet that I've probably played about like... That's a pawn, but I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't want to grab it. Um, let's just say there are 2,000 GMs in the world. I would bet that I've probably played about 200, maybe. Like 200-ish, just a guess. Roughly. That's my guess. It goes bishop f3, which I don't like. I'm going to go here in 95. Go here, target the knight. Yeah, my, my guess is it's like 10%. I, no, no, I'm talking over the board, you guys. Over the board. Online... I don't know, online, I don't know. I bet it's like 300-ish, maybe. If you include online, probably three, 400-ish. Probably like 20%, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Could be higher, but it can't, it can't be more than 25%. No, 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 I'm talking about, I'm talking about, we're talking about people who have the title of Grandmaster. We're not talking about people who are 2,700 plus. My guess is like maximum 25%, though. I'd say maximum 25%, probably closer to 20%. That's my guess. I do C4. Why is this not just great? Of course I miss bishop c3, obviously. Why didn't I just castle there? Again, I, I'm feeling very sack happy. I want to sack my queen again, but this time I won't. I'll play f5 maybe? Oh, but f5, he has knight d4. Shoot. Ah, uh, whatever. I should just take the slight advantage here, probably. And just castle. Just, just play simple chess. Like, why, why am I so spazzy? Apparently, that's a bad word. Or so, so, my, so YouTube was telling me recently. So maybe I should, shouldn't use that word. But I was told that's like a bad word in modern English. Go here to hit the rook. Yeah, I probably will win this because I've got a great structure of pawns. Go here to hit the pawn on b3. Yeah, I was told that's a bad word in modern day English. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I was told. Rook, I should have put the other rook on ca2. Why did I put this rook here? Oh, so stupid. But I'm, I'm up so much time here that I'm going to win this game. Original X Guido just subscribed. Saying Spaz is fine. It's a free country. <laughs> it's a free country, yeah. Uh, so they say, eh? So they say. And I feel like I'm getting something here. A good D4. A good D4 and E3. Trying to get really tricky here. I go E2. I can also just take the E2. Yay! And I just take, and this should just be winning. There we go. Another one. Okay, things are to push the original Guido. Okay, resigns. Let's keep going. Up to 21. Another bad pairing against Min Lei, but it's what it is. Let's go Knight F6. Play a6, stop knight b5, queen e7. It was b4, pretty normal stuff so far. I can play c5, I guess. I will play c5, actually. Takes. Hmm, I guess I'll take with a b pawn. I could take with a d pawn, but then d5, and it gets a little imbalanced. I think right now I need to be sort of be, a, be somewhat solid, not like crazy solid, but relatively solid here to just avoid any weird stuff. 
like because draw draws aren't aren't the end of the world but i really need to just not lose games just like sort of lock it down a little bit here of course he has d5 which again i don't know why i allowed this I'll go here not playing very good chess at the moment that is for sure i'll go back not super enthused at least now he's created some weaknesses that's the that's the one upside here i'll go here and offer a trade of rooks minlay has been a gm for maybe like three to six months maybe six months ish i would guess okay he played 92. interesting move okay let's go rookie eight my knight my bishop is not great on eight that's the only problem i have here of course i should not have allowed this either but I guess I'll go e5. It's not the move I want to play. The position's getting very cloggy. I guess 92. I guess I'll play h5. This is just very, very cloggy. Go here. Don't know why I did that either, but I'll reroute the I'll reroute the uh the piece. This bishop is my problem. If I could put this bishop on the other diagonal, I would just be better here. Maybe better is too strong, but I would be okay. It offers a draw which is interesting because I, I think the problem is it's very flat it's very flat but yeah okay yeah so he wants a draw no surprise uh I really I'm gonna take this is probably wrong but I, oh he takes with the rook interesting I thought he would take with the uh the pawn a little surprised by that I mean, I need to build a shriek soon because we're, we're already down to like one hour in this, this arena, so we don't have all day. Go here, try to activate the uh, pieces. I don't know where queen, queen a4 does. I guess I'll go here. I mean, my bishop is actually quite good now on e8. Aaron LS2 just subscribed. A3. Oh, I just, oh my gosh, I just, just a slip, but whatever. Maybe I can still take and make a draw, actually. Kind of funny. No, I think I'm going to try to win. Knight d5, knight d5, queen b2 is actually a draw, because I have queen c1, but... Uh, here... I guess if he goes knight b5, I take and make a draw. Okay. Oh, wait, I have queen a3. Wait a second, wait a second. Maybe, maybe here? Wait, maybe this is not... I have bishop d2 or something? Wait a second, wait a second. No, oh, wait, bishop... I guess I'll go... I've got to move. I'm a little bit low on time. Oh, is it knight c2? Or did I just, I just hung a pawn on d6. Whoa, f4. What a move. It's a good move, too. I think. Maybe not. Take and take. We go A3. Okay. 
There we go. Poof. Thank you so much to Aaron S for the 12th thing with T Shuba Cat for the Prime. Thank you so much. Tough game. Very, very tough game. Lots of sandbagging in the arena. I don't know if these I I I I, I wait, was that guy like 200 points lower rated? Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. Okay, Bornick plays something weird against me normally when I play.